Hello guys, slash LQ, and uh, I'm coming at you with a tutorial. Um, I'm actually doing various tutorials um, for you guys. It's going to be on Photoshop and Sony Vegas. So if you're looking forward to those, please subscribe and I'll have many coming out. Um, so this is the first one, and I'm actually going to be looking at uh, Photoshop color correction for images. Um, it also works the same for videos. So going to get your image into Photoshop and then you're going to make it rasterized. Um, then, by the way, sorry about this, uh, all this black, like, I have to go over it, um, not sure why. But, um, basically, you can either go onto image adjustments and then you're going to go to curves, or as you can see, control M is a quicker option to open the curves, which that didn't work. Okay, well, it's not working, but it did a minute ago. Uh, so you're just going to click on curves, and now when you're on curves, you're going to where it says the RGB, you're going to go into the top right corner and you're going to simply lift it up. And you're going to go into the bottom left, get it on the line in the corner, click, hold, and go down. So you kind of make a nice difference already, but it's going to be a lot better than that. We go on to the red, and we're going to do exactly the same as we've just done. And then we're going to do the same with the green. So it's looking pretty nice already. Um, now, you're probably going to think it's going to be the same with the blue, but it's not. We're actually going to go in the opposite direction. So instead of going up on the top right, you're actually going to go down on the line. And then in the bottom left, you're going to go up on the line. So you're just doing the opposite of what you've been doing before. Now just click OK, and as you can see, it looks really, really nice. You've got nice sharp colours, you've got nice contrast, uh, no overburn really on the edge where it was before. And now you're going to go for an even nicer effect. So you're going to simply grab this uh, layer zero or whatever the name of it is and you're going to drag it onto this which is the new layers symbol so now you've copied it now with this one you're going to go image adjustments oh, image adjustments and then you're going to go onto the gradient map so you're going to open gradient map now you, you know this is black and white so um, it's obviously not what you want because you're doing colour correction but you're going to click OK anyway and then on the where it says normal where you have the selection of what style you want uh, you simply want to go on to soft light and as you can see that looks nice um, you can go through you know like different things on the selection depending on what you want but the main one that works for most photos is soft light now if you don't want it this powerful, you, you don't want as much overburn, you don't want as much dullness and blackness in there, and you simply go onto your layer that you just made, and if you turn it off, you've got rid of the overburn, if you turn it on, you've got it. So if you go on about 60-ish, you're going to come up with the best result. As you can see, you've still got detail, but you've still got green in the leaves, um, but then you've still got that same effect rather than that. Um, you've got a bit more in-depth image and I think it looks much much better then uh, once you've done that uh, you sorted, you've got your nice colour correction and it looks really good, you can do this on videos if you have after effects you can go onto curves and just do the same patterns there are uh, various ways of doing different types of patterns but this is my favourite which is why I thought I'd show you guys so I hope you enjoyed and subscribe for many more tutorials